Intention beads, believe and achieve. Link in the description below. Hello, fabulous superstar Pisces. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of October 2020. Looking at life and love, I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is a remarkable astrological month without a doubt. It is a blue moon month as well, which means that the month will begin on a full moon and end on a full moon as well. Now, it is right out of the gate that chances are you'll be paying attention to money matters. Many Pisceans out there may find themselves having to pay attention to what is happening on the financial front. And that is because of the first full moon this month happening at the very beginning of the month. And this full moon will be hand in hand with Chiron in the sky. Now, Chiron represents vulnerability and it represents a sense of becoming aware of where perhaps some insecurities need to be addressed. But here's the thing, this energy ends up being negated tremendously if it is that you work in a profession that you consider healing in some way. So if it is that you consider yourself a healer, and I understand that's a very broad umbrella, but if you're bringing an energy of healing to what you do, then this can be an especially prosperous time for you. Where it is that you are hoping to pay attention to what's happening in terms of money you earn and money that you spend, there may be some focus that comes on that. It may also be a time when you are looking at investing or spending money towards uh, doing something that you feel will help you out in some way, especially on the emotional front, or perhaps in terms of alternative healing modalities. Now, this part of the sky also has to do with self-esteem and self-worth. And this may be an opportunity to heal more deeply where it is that there may be some issues related to that. As we navigate to the middle of the month, right around the 16th is when we will have this month's new moon. Now this new moon will be taking place in a part of the sky for you that is also financially connected in terms of your relationship to financial institutions, but it has a deeper significance as well. It is connected to personal and meaningful change, transformation and regeneration. It has to do with being more deeply honest with yourself as well. Now, for some of you out there, it is going to be this new moon that does bring new interactions with financial institutions. The fact that we are going to have Jupiter, Saturn, and Pluto speaking in conversations of tension with this new moon does suggest that there may be some sense of you needing to pursue a particular path or feeling as if it's kind of out of your hands that you have to uh, connect with financial institutions at this time. And I'm not promising you easy, but what I can say is that when we have such strong financial energy, it means that the money you need is there. It's just that it may feel, especially around this new moon, that you've got to do a little bit more to secure that funding. This is a theme throughout this month. The money you need is there. It just means that you need to maybe do a little bit more, whether it is to earn more money at the beginning of the month or secure funding mid-month. Regardless of what happens, you will be okay and you will thrive at this time. Having this part of the sky connected to profound and meaningful transformation means that you're able to be searingly honest with yourself about where is it that you desire meaningful change. And in embracing that depth of understanding and the work required to get to the change that you desire, well, it makes you that much more effective. It may not be the case that everything flows as easily, especially around the middle of the month, and yet you will be effective. As we navigate to the end of the month, just in time for Halloween is when we are going to have this month's full moon. Now this full moon is happening in a part of the sky for you that has to do with communication of all kinds. It is also connected to siblings, cousins, and neighbors. Now this full moon is hand in hand with Uranus and Uranus is a surprise a minute. Now some of these surprises are going to be absolutely delightful, but it could really go the other way as well. That's the thing with Uranus, it does represent represent extremes and so it may be that some of these surprises are shocking so now it might be your siblings cousins or neighbors one of these people may be a surprise a minute right about now they may have some developments or changes that are going on in their life that does take you by surprise but it may end up being delightful as I said this is an energy of extremes 
it may not even have to do with you directly. It may be decisions they're making in their life that really seem out of character. At the same time though, this part of the sky being connected to communication of all kinds, it may very well be that in a conversation, perhaps random conversation, either there can be big opportunity or very surprising news. Either things can feel uh, as if they start out pleasant and then take a very dramatic, uncharacteristic turn, or it can feel as if you learn something new that changes things for you and for the better. With Uranus, it is about what you didn't know before, what you didn't know that you didn't know. And with energy like this, it can be the case that very quickly uh, you come to understand what hadn't been in your purview before. Now, this part of the sky is also connected to sharing and social media. And so you are one of the signs that may find something that you share, perhaps rather innocently, ends up reaching a whole lot of people very quickly. That could bring with it all kinds of reactions or results. How you embrace it is up to you. Now, where it comes to matters of love, that is the very good news this month because it is going to be for most of this month that Venus is going to be in your opposite sign, moving into your opposite sign right around the second and staying there right to the 28th of the month. This is one of the more beautiful moments for you over the course of this year where it comes to romantic love. If it is that you are open to meeting someone new, well, Venus in your opposite sign does tend to indicate the potential to attract somebody who has real long-term potential to you now. The fact that Venus is going to be making beautiful alignments with other power players, well, it does affirm this likelihood that much more. Yes, it is a Mercury retrograde month, which means that first impressions aren't necessarily uh, the actual or final impression, and yet there is romance on offer. For those of you who are just starting to date somebody, Venus in your opposite sign, well, this is a wonderful indicator for getting to know this person more and envisioning them as part of a meaningful partnership. And with a sky like this, it may very well start moving in that direction more and more. And for those of you in an established bond, when Venus is in your opposite sign and having the beautiful alignments that she will be throughout this month, it does suggest that your partner is that much sweeter, that much nicer, it's that much easier to get along and feel connected to this person that you love. And there is a sense now of the relationship either solidifying or coming to a depth of understanding that is meaningful to both of you. What I love about this month for you, well, look, there's a lot here, but I'm gonna say Venus in your opposite sign. It does suggest that not only romantically, but any one-on-one -on -one alliances, whether they're business partnerships, professional alliances, they're that much more prosperous, that much more easier to get along. Uh, and it's that much more sweeter to interact with others. It is going to be with this beautiful energy that other people are going to facilitate blessings in your life of all kinds. And the least of which, of course, is knowing that you are loved, you are supported by many people out there. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded, exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.